finally I found the place where they had kept poor Skipper Jones in jail, along with many other unfortunate men. I killed the scum that guarded the building, then searched for treasures, but there were no diamonds, no jewelry, <laughs> not even gold. Just paper, lots of paper. I was just starting to think about burning down the whole place when I saw a chest on the table. I wanted to open it, but it was sealed tight, so I decided to bring it back to the ship. There, with a good crowbar, I was able to open it. I was disappointed to find just another piece of paper. However, it had to be special if they kept it in a chest. I took a closer look and I could hardly believe my eyes. It was a map to the long lost pirate hideout of Tortuga Bay. If the legend was true, mighty pirates had hidden their massive treasures there centuries ago. I was wondering if the map was real. There was only one way to find out. After a long sail, we reached the shores of Tortuga Bay, and our worst nightmares began to come true.
Finally, after killing all the sea monsters, we landed on the shore and started to explore the island. At first glance, everything seemed peaceful. Then, something terrible appeared from out of the wilderness.
the living dead had risen against us. Walking corpses of long dead pirates who were still protecting their hidden treasures. This was promising and horrible at the same time. I felt happiness and fear in my heart, and finally I was there. It was a giant opening in the mountain, an entrance to a cave. I bet on the treasures being hidden there, inside, and I did bet on it with my life.
I was right. The treasures were there. Piles of gold, jewelry, and on a pedestal in the center of the cave, I spotted the biggest diamond I had ever seen. But the place was well protected, and I made a big mistake. As soon as I tried to remove the diamond, the ground started to shake, and the cave started to collapse. I struggled to stay on my feet while rocks were falling everywhere. I thought I was doomed when I suddenly saw a ray of light coming from a crack in the rock. The opening was getting wider, and as I reached the crack, it was just wide enough for me to fit through. Seconds later, the crack closed in a cloud of dust and was sealed tight with rocks. The whole cave collapsed behind me. I was now on the opposite side of the island, alone.
I was just about to give up hope of ever seeing the fortune again when I heard Good Skipper Jones shouting. I was safe. We set sail immediately. We wanted to leave this cursed place behind us as soon as possible. But that proved not to be such an easy task. A fleet of ghost ships appeared from nowhere and it was obvious that we would have to sink them or die ourselves.
The situation was hopeless. The ghost ships just kept coming. No matter how many we sunk, more and more arrived to fill their place. We decided on one final gamble to go against the terrifying flagship, the Sudden Death. The legendary ship of Captain Horatio One-Eye Scrub. The ship kept unleashing its deadly cannon fire at us. We all fought like never before. As if this was our last battle. Miraculously though, through a series of perfectly aimed shots, we began to get the upper hand. And finally, we sank the ship of death. We could barely stand on our tired legs as we looked around us. The battle was over. All ghost ships had disappeared with the sudden death. We had survived. I gave the orders to set sail and the fortune headed for the open seas and left this horrible place behind in search for more peaceful waters. The treasure of Tortuga Bay was buried deep down in the collapsed cave, but not forever. One day I went back, but that is another story.